Java is a language that is used to run many of today's appliances, cars, phones, and other devices. The Java Development Kit, or JDK, contains everything you need as a Java developer to start creating and compiling Java applications. It is a required download if you want to work with Java. As Java was purchased by Oracle, you can download the current version of the JDK from www.oracle.com slash tech network slash java slash java se slash downloads. Note that on this page, there are several different versions of Java available. As we scroll down, we can see that there's the JDK, the server JRE, and the JRE available. Because we need the JDK, we're going to click on the download button underneath JDK. On this page, we'll scroll down to see which download is available for our system. Before you can download anything off the site, you must accept a license agreement. So first, we'll click the radio here that we accept. Now, we'll find the platform that we are using. I'm currently on a Windows 64-bit machine, so I'll go to the bottom of the list where it says Windows X64. I'll then go and click on the download link. We will now wait until our download has completed. After the download has completed, we can find the file in our downloads folder. Double clicking will launch the installer. The Java installation wizard should then appear. We'll go ahead and click next to get started. Here we can choose what we would like to install and below we can change where we would like it installed to. I'm going to take the default options and click Next. The installation package is then extracted to a temporary directory on your computer. When it is finished, it will then bring you to a new window asking you where you would like to install Java. Again, I'm going to take the default values and click Next. When the installation is complete, on the last screen we can see a Next Steps button and a close button. Clicking the Next Steps button will take us back to the Oracle website where we can look up documentation, guides, and tutorials. For now, we're going to click Close. Now that we have Java installed, we're ready to start using an IDE.